Hello everybody and uh welcome to this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um before we begin, appreciate all of you guys support. So, this is going to be a summary of my race the other day. I think it's important to uh do this. This is probably one of my best races yet. Uh this will be a nice kind of highlight tip. We'll go through, talk about what I was thinking. Um how everything happened. So, uh yeah, stay tuned. Um, also, I might have some background noise, so, um, sorry about that, but, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is right when the lights go green, so let's go back a little bit, we could talk about the grid, so, uh, let's do this. So we got a grid here, so we got, uh, on the top, David, uh, Wilson, we got Bruce Jackson, Eric Ewens, We'll see a lot. Starting off the four slap, so it's about to go green. Um, we go green here because of the 10 second um, gap we have to have between the LMP2s. So it's kind of a weird start, you know, none of us really know um, where we're going to start, but this is where we start here. So, uh, oh wait, you guys probably can't hear that, but more. Alright, wait, now you guys can get that. So, yeah, not very... Okay, so let's go... Officially here. This is when we start. That's when, like, the lights go green. So, I almost had a run on him here. You can watch my throttle input. Because I didn't know what was going on. So, I had a really good run on him here. But then I was like, what the heck is happening? He's not going. And then I slowed down. Um... Because I didn't want to get a penalty or anything, but, yeah. So we have a really good breakaway from, uh, Ewan's there, so I think the gap's like, um, a second over them, so. Not able to get anything done in here, but. Still getting that slipstream, get a good run up on them. Got oh, a little bit of chaos behind us. And then, this comes to the forced... Uh, really thank you. We'll go in the cockpit. Watch from this view. Coming up on him. Breaking point. Hit the brakes. I, I just couldn't see any reference points. So I, I mean, I just. Um. I couldn't see the reference points. I was kind of distracted, I guess. And I just couldn't make it happen here. And I just didn't even put in much um, steering angle. I think I just missed my reference points. But anyways, yeah, that was a big deal. Because then behind me, uh, we got Ewins and Jackson and a whole bunch of cars here. But luckily, no contact. I was able to get right in behind. Uh, Fredrickson, I think that is. Oh no, it's Colin. Oh. So, drop back down into, I don't know, several positions behind. Then we have this great um, back and forth here. Well, not really back and forth, but so I make a move inside here. I just got a game back a lot of times. So a good move down there for me. And then just trying to gain on this guy. Forced LMP2. Uh, I think that was Matt Calf. He started from the back. Still plowing all the way through here. Just trying to gain any time I can on him. Let's see. So anyway, let's see. I think I overtake him into the next corner. Yeah, yeah. So I get him into here. Just break a little later. Able to cut through. It gives me room. Move in. So then I'm chasing Bruce Jackson. So now I'm back into fourth position. So catch up a bunch. You know, I got a lot of work to do. So just got to drive as fast as I can. Keep it all good. 
this was fairly good. I think if I remember, just really trying to catch him. Really wanted to get back into my original position in second place. So I eventually catch Bruce here. Lap 5. Yeah, it's a very slow process of catching him, man. A lot of work. So, okay, let's go back and see what happened here. That allowed me to get the overtake. Oh, see, he just ran too wide. And so let's go on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So he must have just had a bad little go here. Oh, that was on the other lap. Anyways, so I got past uh, Jackson. And, uh, now I just had Ewins to go, so, it's, I think it's hard to see the, oh, right here. Oh, it was just spits, but, um, behind Ewins a little bit there, so, now back up, so I gotta catch Ewins, so, that took a little bit, he's very fast, very consistent drive with you. Um, so that was a little bit of work, but I think, but eventually I catch him up here. No incident still, just the first one, so. Eventually catch him, a lot of traffic here in there, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. But. I catch him there a lot. And then I just got this epic tussle between me and Eric. Uh, very good defensive driving on his... Very good driving. I mean, just getting... Staying fast enough. That was really close. That was really close. Oh, that must have been one of the other incidents. Yeah, there was nothing I could have done about that, man. I mean, I guess he just kind of lost it going in. Oh, that was the leader. That was the leader. Or maybe that was the leader. I know he started off in poor position. Man. Yeah, he just lost the rear end there. Taking a little too much speed in. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done to avoid that. Anyhow. Um, back to it. I took a little front damage there. That was my first front damage I took. So I had to catch you in again. Um, which took a little bit. More LMP2 traffic. I mean, these are pretty clean laps here by both of us, but I eventually catch him up, and then here, this is when I can get past, finally, is his little mistake here. Eric just pulled it in a little too much there, was able to come, was able to make the best of that, get past him. So, and then he's, he's nipping at my heels here. go back so just trying to keep him behind might have had an opportunity there but then I just blow away from him again so yeah just um Trying to make it work. So I'll skip forward to probably my next incident. So I keep ahead of Eric here pretty well. Um, and that was a hard cap to keep. Uh, Eric was very fast. Very consistent. But stayed ahead. Wait, that was that Bruce Jackson? Oh, so I must have had an incident back here. Yeah, here, yeah, so let's see what happened. Because I was ahead of both of those guys. Oh, okay, this is the big incident. This is the one that, like, really started me on my path here. So, we got this going on. You know, chop with you. So, we got this guy coming in. Give a room on the inside. Take it out. I mean, I don't know. That might have been... 
a little bit of my mistake, but I mean, look at that, we don't even make actual contact. Maybe it was because I saw him and I kind of joked back. Well, here, let's see the, uh, let's see the onboard. Oh my gosh, where is it? Yeah, see the onboard here. So, yeah, looking in here, I mean, my meals are built out, but, I mean, thought he might have been moving in, so I cut that corner. Yeah, I didn't joke at all. I did get hit, and you can hear the contact. But that was a big moment for me. Uh, put my race into another little bit of hassle. I hate that, actually. Look at that eye racing stuff. Can't even see exactly. But that, and you know, that, I don't know. It's kind of my mistake. I mean, he had a little more room. But I should have um, came out of the corner and, like, went more towards, you know, over here, give myself a little more room. And I probably could have avoided that. But anyway, so Eric went past, Bruce went back. And then I think, I don't pit on this lap, do I? No. This is not the big incident. So that was a little incident. Caused me a little bit of damage. But luckily it wasn't much. So Bruce fighting, Bruce gets past Eric here. Then I catch him both. And back to a tussle with Eric. This one is... Yeah, I get some interesting stuff going on here, but <sighs> we'll see here. I know I pit on lap 24, so something's big's gotta happen. Yeah, so back there, coming out of here, I almost had a look in, and then I was like, no, I don't want to commit. That's a really I don't like passing at all. It's really sketchy. Um, by the way, in the meantime, David. Um, at the top of the field is keeping really good gap. Keep it clean all through here. Air going a little wide, still not able to get it done. Oh, so I had a little, I had a little moment there, that's for sure. Let's see what happened. Yeah, I just got in the throttle too early away and a little bit wide, and man, that is like nothing wide though. I mean, look how. Oh, I did get on the grass deal, but still, man, and uh, yeah, I just ran too wide, got in the gas a little too soon, went in. Again, not a ton of damage actually, and I was able to recover fairly well from that. Then, oh, I guess not. So I didn't have a big incident. Oh, it was just with that LMP2 before. Okay, so I thought that was a bigger incident. But, so let's go back to that, actually, because... Uh, oh, it was this lap, so... No, no, it was... This lap. Let's see, because something else was going on. I'm almost positive. So this is when he comes in contact, but I'm almost positive there's more going on. I, uh, I guess not. I guess I thought he got past in the deal, but that was really the big, the big thing. And then my little incident deal. Oh, so back up to lap 24. Just came out of the pits. So I'm pretty far behind. This is not super accurate because of the lmp 2s But um, went on a different field strategy. So now, see what happens. So now I just have to be as fast as possible and wait for the other guys to pit. So, uh, David's going to eventually pit here. And this part is a pretty clean race. I and mean, we could probably just skip laps. It was, it was clean. 
I don't think I had any more incidents, but I was just trying to keep it together. I eventually jumped to uh, the forced place here. Don't know when that happens, but it's whenever everybody else pits, so I think it's lap uh, 43. Yeah, so then I jump up into force position in the class. So at this point, I just hold force position. So David was a little bit behind me. Actually, I'm interested to see... No, I think everybody got tires here. I didn't get tires, so I was able to go jump to force place on my different fuel strategy. So at this point, hold in force place all the way through. Um, till I have to pit. So, uh, we can jump forward some laps. Really, this was all really clean running. All pretty good stuff, you know. All within the same half second. Sometimes a little faster, sometimes a little slower, depending on traffic. Oh, wait, and then I pit. On lap 58, I have to come in. So, I had to come in, and then I'm just getting fuel here. It's a very quick stop. Yeah, very quick stop. And I'm out. And at this point, um, I think we already had crashes from Bruce Jackson and um, Eric. So, I was actually in second place coming out of the pits. Um, so that was really good for me. So, now I just had to have David, uh, wherever he is. There he is. Um, I had to have this guy pit. That's how I was going to make it work. Of course, he's been fuel saving a lot. So he doesn't end up having to pit. But got some pretty good racing action here. A lot of traffic. Not a lot of actual racing traffic in the last stint. But trying to hold on to the last, uh, to the tires here. Because I didn't change out tires once, so. Fast forward here. Had a lot of clean running through here. The second part of the stint. A lot of clean running. So I think by this point, um, I think everybody else had pit. Um, anyway, by the end of it, um, finished second place. I couldn't, so the gap between me and David was around 30 seconds, it was on all tires. Um, I really could have only won if David would have pit. Um, but yeah, crossing the finish line, I was pretty happy about that, flashing my lights. So, pretty good race for me, best result, um, first league race, so, it's really good for me, so, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, hope you guys have a good one.